and welcome to Backseat Gamer, the other white meat. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Jason Amherst. I want to eat the baby. And I, and Dane has decided to be a Rudy Poo candy ass today. <laughs> no, I'm a po- I'm a pooty Roo. Andy Cass. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If you're gonna if you're gonna say it, if you're gonna say it, say it right. Anyway, uh, so Doom Cast playing Doom Trace. Yes, uh, last year we played. Uh, yes, last year we played the first two games, obviously. So it was only a matter of time before we got to the third one. Took an extended break from the Doom series because uh, we played. But wasn't um, we played one didn't, you say Doom 3, didn't you say Doom Three was the terrible one? Doom Three. It's it's okay. It's the worst of the Doom games. I'm not going to say it's a bad game because it's really not a bad game. It is the worst of the Doom games. Okay. Uh, just because it's the worst of the Doom game doesn't mean it's necessarily like a terrible game. Correct. Let's just say that. Correct. If it didn't have the Doom name on it, it would probably be a classic. But um, All right, that's, that's fair. And this is the... Uh, BFG, BFG edition. It's the largest corporate entity in existence. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest... Okay. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, refrigeration repair. I want to point out to you, Dane, that the game is reading these, this text. <laughs> okay. Echo the dolphin. Yes. Echo the earthworm. Earthworm. <laughs> Jim, the, the Jim the Dolphin. Jim the Dolphin. That's my favorite. Detective. Ever heard of Jim the Dolphin? No. It's my favorite dolphin. You want to know who my favorite dolphin is? Dan Marino. That's right. <laughs> He's like the only notable dolphin. Dan Marino. Dan Marino. I mean, there's like Larry Zonka. Oh my Jim God, Dan. yes. Larry Zonka, formerly known as the co-host of American Gladiators seasons two through six. I mean, before he did that, <laughs> three through six. Sorry. Directly to me. <laughs> yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. That's right. Dan Marino, famous for being in Ace Ventura. Yeah, that's, that's right. We've Say hello to Captain Winky. Welcome back. And. Not only that, he got to make out with Sean Young in the movie. It's pretty good. Pretty good deal. That's some high quality edge to all. Yeah, that is some high quality. Listen, I know Einhorn was Finkel and Finkel was Einhorn, but Sean Young was pretty attractive in that movie. Yeah, then why did we have to see Jim Carrey's ass? Because they were they were making fun of the movie. The... Weren't they making fun of the crying game in that scene? Yes. So, I'm, or, yeah, Jason, I was afraid of the scene where he he burned all his clothes in a fire and then walked to his bathtub and sat in it and cried. And we had to see his ass. And then literally in the next scene, he stuffs like twenty pieces of gum in his mouth. Your gun is digging into my hip. <laughs> Union Welcome to DARS. To expedite your processing, please yes, I am. I'm in DARS. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Welcome to SARS, bitch. I'm gonna need you to step oh wait, that's not. That's not something you want to be a part of. This will only take a second. So, uh, okay, I'm I'm drinking a new flavor of liquid death. Raspberry yes. something or other. They told me to stand. Nope, uh, they told me to stand still. Obituary. How Cherry is it? obituary. All right, yep. How is it? So picture you are drinking cherry coke minus the coke. Hmm. Nice. On behalf of the UAC. Might yeah, have to try that. It is it is sparkling cherry water. It is very good. Uh, do you think they have it without the sparkling uh, stuff? Uh I mean most most of their flavored waters are sparkling, unfortunately. Um yeah. I did see that this gas station still had some cans left of the Armless Palmer, which was discontinued uh, and rebranded as Dead Billionaire. There's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal. Okay. Yep, because they got sued. 
You'll need this to they got sued by the estate of Arnold Palmer. Whoops. Gotcha. It'll download directly. Who knew calling Arnold Palmer, yep. Palmer armless would result in legal trouble? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a joke. It's a parody. He died in point of the ice and He died in 2016. Let it go. Yeah, uh, and they're like, no, you can't call this drink Arnold Palmer. That's clearly a reference to the Arnold Palmer drink that you guys are clearly making. Fine, then we're just gonna call it Dead Billionaire. Um, I'm sick and thought Armless Palmer is just fine. <laughs> I mean, where is the lie? So was was he a, was he a billionaire, or is his name just worth billions at this point? I I I would suspect his name is probably worth billions rather than he was a billionaire. Yeah. Hey, so, do I need to remind remember you when the, the whole consensus was that Josh from Drake and Josh was the better of the two people because he wasn't a scumbag asshole? As it turns, turns out, out <laughs> apparently he was a scumbag. Yes, according to reports, it looks like Josh Peck has been taking hush money from Dan Schneider to cover up Drake Bell's uh, sexual assault. After how many acts? Yep. So, and apparently, yeah. according to rumors, yeah. Josh Peck's wife is so disgusted she this, wants to divorce him. This would be a 20 minute segment on the mental cast if we were still doing that show. Guaranteed. All, all things considered, when you look at it too, like his response was rather boilerplate for somebody who was so intimately involved and yet. Oh, we just kind of drifted apart when the show ended. It's like, really? My way. Really? Turns out Josh no, Peck was sucking and, Dan Schneider's pack. I mean, you know, let's go. Me, meanwhile, Nickelodeon's not even offering money to to um for freaking for, for freaking therapy or anything like that. This is all coming out of his own pocket. All these years later, he's been dealing with this shit. Nickelodeon hasn't had to pony up any cash towards it. Man, Geraldine Labor, she's probably rolling over in her grave. Probably. Is she dead? I don't. I don't think so. But she's <laughs> probably still. She she dug her grave just so he she could roll in it. And people were just like Ger um, Geraldine, what are you doing? Jerry, what are you doing? Stop rolling I'm, in your own grave. That's weird. I, I'm loving the uh, the meme going around of the pictures from Better Off Dead, where it's like the signs were all there that he was a creeper. I mean, I saw a picture or a meme. It might have actually come from Jace, where it says Nickelodeon executives are all, we had no idea Dan Schneider had a foot fetish. And there's the fucking Nickelodeon logo as an orange foot. The Nickelodeon Pictures logo was literally the foot. Their fucking yep. movie studio logo was a foot. There's a foul plot a foot. Meanwhile, Quentin Tarantino's like, I don't see the issue here. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino's like, I, I, I thought that that was normal. Wait, what? You mean you... You don't. So wait a minute. This this, is this, this toilet is empty. What the hell is that? <laughs> um, that is. I don't know. There's also magazines on the floor too. Yeah. Booty. Game hog and booty. Yeah. There's the game hog right booty. there. <laughs> More like the game clog up the toilet. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I can't even see that one. Oh look, it's uh, what diet Rob? <laughs> Is that Rob after he loses weight? <laughs> diet Rob, so Doug. <laughs> Doug. Anyway. Yeah, I saw those suits arrive too. Weird. Uh, uh, this is bringing back some memories. Yeah. Did we ever? Did we ever finish Doom Three when we played it on uh, MVG Live? 
I don't think we did. Not to my knowledge. Okay. Uh, did we got a ways through it, but I think we had to stop at some point. Stop. Go that way. Go that way. Thank you. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Yes. Oh, I need this little guy. I need to turn on subtitles. Yeah, that would help. If I can find them. Who wants to turn back time? Maybe. There doesn't appear to be a subtitle option. This, this was before that, I guess. Oh, no. Well, that's so now the big, the big movie coming out this weekend is Godzilla x Kong. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. Uh, WWE had a uh, well-cut commercial using uh, their commentators over uh, footage of the movie. I'll see you around. Yeah. Now, this, see, here's what I what I wonder is is Kong is Godzilla X Kong Boy, going to time. not Ghostbusters story. down? Is Ghostbusters going to have legs? Or is Doom going to just stomp on both of them? You know, I don't know. I don't already, know. Already it looks like Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is getting like mediocre at best reviews. Yeah, I've been I've been hearing that. Like Some people are like, oh, you know, like somebody I know who saw it was like, I liked it. And I'm like, yeah, but I didn't like the last Ghostbusters film because it was just Stranger Things with Ghostbusters tacked onto it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I felt like the one with the women was more Ghostbusters because at least it felt like a female version of the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Well, you know, the the problem a lot with of people are comparing this new movie to the real Ghostbusters cartoon somehow. Uh huh. So it's like I'm curious, but not enough to spend like freaking you know ten bucks on a movie ticket. See, here's the problem with movie audiences lately. If if a movie has even a sniff of anything other than just white people in the movie, you get those window lickers going, Oh, this movie is woke. It's garbage. Oh, my God. Have you seen the backlash from the toxic Star Wars fandom about the Acolyte? I have not, no, but I can only imagine it's it's a bunch of, oh, this movie is woke, and we, we're boycotting. People are, people are complaining up and down about a freaking teaser for a show that doesn't come out until June, and it's just like, you know, oh, look at the people who directed it, no, oh, go woke, go broke, oh, no, black character, oh, no. Asian guy. I'm like, it's not the Skywalker saga, so quit crying, people. Okay, this is the High Republic. This is a time period that has nothing to do with Guns your precious nachos. little movies from the 70s. My favorite magazine, Guns and Nachos. That is mm. that is a nice magazine. So here's, so oh, it's like, Robo Cola. Here's the thing. The 2016... Ghostbusters, the female Ghostbusters movie. It's not what you would call a good movie. It's not a good and, movie. And, it's not see, a bad movie. It's, it's, a, movie it's a movie that movie. died on the cutting room floor. Here's, but see, there's two, there's two schools of thought. One that's reasonable and one that's not reasonable. The reasonable people yep. are the ones who go, you know, this movie had a bad script and a lot of probably studio interference and whole bunch of nonsense and it's just really not that good of a movie okay fair where it gets unbelievable is oh the movie is bad because women were ghostbusters and it's woke and blah, 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 blah. yeah that's because like the thing is as somebody who spent six days on the set and saw footage of the movie 
before it was finished. Like I, I got to see freaking like raw daily footage of other scenes, previs, like before they had finished visual effects into the movie. Like, so I, I, I got to like see little teasers of that while they were like going through it. And I'm just going like, this movie could have been so much better if it wasn't dungeon, fucked Marine. around with in the edit room as okay. badly as it was. So, for example, the Disney movie Strange World. Passing through security. The movie yeah. bomb. Okay, grab your gear. They also movie? didn't freaking advertise it at all. I was going to say, you saw no advertising for it. You saw maybe one trailer on TV every couple of days. The movie stunk because the script was bad and it was just terrible. But you got these people going, oh, the movie is woke because there was a gay character and there was... And people revolted against it. That's why it failed. Like, no, it failed because the movie was barely advertised and it sucked. You, you hear about the guy who wants to freaking, like, kick everybody out of the offices at both Disney and Marvel right now because it's like, oh, well, nobody asked for a movie with women, so why did they make the Marvels? Newsflash, dude. If the Marvels was men instead of women, the movie still would have been a mediocre piece of men. I was going to say, men, women, fucking bears on tricycles with chainsaws. If it was the same script, same execution, the movie would have still been bad. Yeah. You know, Marvel's problem was basically taking your golden boy and spreading him too thin. He could not juggle all those projects at once. He needed a couple of people underneath him, you know, and they needed to space things out a bit more and they needed a clearer vision. Kind of like the Star Wars sequels, where they had no clear vision whatsoever and said, fuck it, here's three completely different filmmakers, let's make a trilogy. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works! That's not how you write a trilogy! This is Grant Baston, the environmental... Angry Jace, angry Jace. October 19th. <laughs> But it's true! That how you fucking write an actual cohesive narrative, especially you know, for a trilogy. We always have the this this speech. anger would be a lot more funny if worse, Jace's volume wasn't going in and out. But I understand. Are truly frightened. The room is weird yeah. about experiments you know, with double like... complex are not helping. The power plugs uh, aren't helping at all either. I, I, I seriously, I wish that more people could kind of sit there rationally and look at these things and go, well, here's your problem. No, instead of, oh, you probably did it's dead. Oh, the ruin. Shut the fuck up, all you whiny little bitches. Like, have you ever really stopped to notice that conservative Hollywood movies really fucking suck? I, I watched an entire episode recently of an amazing comedy news show on YouTube called Some More News, where they reviewed in painstaking detail the movie Lady Ballers. Uh, I, I, I've heard that that's like it's the anti-woke movie or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, like this. This is the con. This is the sort of thing that probably would have flown very easily in the late '90s, early 2000s as a comedy film, but is trying too hard to be anti-woke. See, and as a result, there's like no character growth for the main character and instead anti-character growth for all of the characters around them if to fit their narrative if your selling point is oh this movie's gonna make the liberals angry your movie's probably not gonna be good to begin with like there, there's a character in the movie that goes you know I I think I might actually be trans. I might actually be a woman. Nah, you're just thinking things. They're just making you think this. You're it's all crazy talk. You're you're perfectly straight 
you know, heterosexual cisgender man. And, you know, everybody else is just crazy for making you think that. Now shut up. It's like, wow. Way to completely shit on what a what what could have been a poignant moment for a character in a movie. But but that's not the point you're trying to make because you have to make a point in this apparent comedy that has no humor whatsoever. Well, that's that's like how in all these God is not dead movies, they make every atheist out to be like blithering idiots like oh i'm an atheist i'm so stupid so you know that you know not every atheist is dumb Try, trying to find trying to find subtitle settings because it's really hard to figure out what yeah. to do in the game right I now i was trying to see if there was a uh, uh, lo- uh code for that locker in that audio log but it's re- it's difficult to hear it oh <laughs> <Ugh>, god <laughs> Id, what were you thinking? Yeah. Because, <clears throat> yeah, there's really not. It's an id software. What a bunch of id idiots back then. Oof. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if, if, if I was playing alone and didn't have people talking in my ear, I probably would have been able to hear it. But, like, that's not an option on this show. <laughs> I can't just be like, shut uh, up, I'm trying to hear this. Because that, def- that would return. F- Doom 3 locker codes. I just looked it up. Uh, on I, I already, Doom wiki. I, was say, I already walked away from that first locker. Uh, locker next to e- uh, elevator? No, locker that was... Locker ID was, 001? No. That wasn't the... Uh, uh, hold on. Let me go back to the locker. Give me a locker number. I can give you a code number. That'll work. Uh, hold on. I gotta find it again. The last one that I saw you with, with near was 023 or I something. I think like that, that was it. Yeah, but I don't remember exactly. Okay. Code's 531 for that one. Okay. Well, now I gotta find it again. I have I have Did? lost it. <laughs> I have misplaced a locker. <laughs> I've lost. It. Oh, here it is. 531. All right. Uh, Boop and a boop and a beep. Oh, armor. That's all that was. Okay, cool. But I was also seeing if there was anything I could like add uh, to it. Let's Hold see. On. Yeah, the most important one is going to be. Uh, the valve control panel to extinguish a fire. Hmm. Good thing I found all the locker codes on a wiki. Right. Just remember, folks. This game won't hurt. Uh, it says here they're almost always obtained from PDAs on the same level. Yeah, but that's via emails the, or audio but, logs. Yeah, to say that's the problem. The audio logs I can't hear mm. because you know I can't ask you guys I to stop talking every time said. I have to hear an audio log because that would just detract from the show. That would not be fun. Well, hang on. Mm. If you need a, if you need to call assistance, just remember this number. Okay, Mike. Oh one one eight nine 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 eight nine 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 one nine seven two five five three eat my three four twenty sixty nine. Ah, well, that's easy to remember. To remember. I love that gag. Fun fact: if you dial that in on a uh, Google Pixel phone. Uh, the number just flashes a bunch of crazy colors. You can tell, by the way, uh, when we originally played this game in MVG Live, it was the irregular edition of Doom 3. You can tell this is the BFG version because I can turn the flashlight on and have a pistol out. (gasps) Amazing. I know. You couldn't do that in the regular version. Wow. Yeah, so I just searched quickly. Uh, Doom 3, activate subtitles. 
And the first thing that comes up is uh, Bethesda. There is no option to add subtitles for Doom 3. Oh, my God. Well, fuck you, Bethesda and id. That's terrible. That's so stupid. Like, yeah. Like I said, I understand it if like you were uh, playing alone, which I guess it's not that big of a deal. If you're playing alone, you could probably hear the game, unless you're like blasting imps or shit. Oh, but, there's there's a uh, a mod for PC though that lets you add closed captioning to the game. Yeah, but I don't feel like going through the hoops of you, you know, really. And and even ignoring that, you really shouldn't have to use a mod to get subtitles for a I game. I mean, that... it was a game. It was a game released in two thousand six. So, well, anyway, at least we found all the locker codes on a wiki. So, that's fair. But seriously, like, come on, Bethesda, you couldn't freaking add that, like. If this is the BFG edition, which means that there is added cut content or whatever, you know, like it's a definitive edition. I mean, it's it includes the DLC, it includes game. Doom One and Two. There's a is like better graphics. I don't know if there's cut content per se. Yeah, but if it's like a definitive version, you'd think that they would have put subtitles in the game. You think. What about, what about what about deaf people playing the game for crying out loud? Accessibility. Twenty twenty four. Get with the time. That's very true. That's, that's get with the true. program. Pardon me a second. I'm in, I'm dealing with a thing at the moment. I'm just trying to get rid of it because <laughs> I was looking because I was looking for the subtitle thing, and I'm just getting rid of the this. All right. Oh, apparently, uh, Sid Meier is working on the next Civilization game. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought a new Civilization game came out fairly recently, I guess. Not. I guess, like, within the past, I don't know, how many years? Was it Civilization Five? I think, was the most recent? Remember, everyone, Peter Molyneux is a cunt. He is. <laughs> You're not wrong. Actually, uh... Oh, God. All right. Sorry about that. We're back. <laughs> uh, reshare the screen. Oh, no, God damn it. God, ding, ding. <laughs> I always forget to fucking do that. There we go. It happens. All right. Uh, so the game crashed, in case you were wondering why, why there was a cut there. <laughs> I'm going to need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol. Correct them on this. Through security. Hi, Stephen J. Bloom. Okay, grab your. He's gear. almost everyone in this game. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm Hi, Tom uh, It's it's turn Spike Spiegel. <laughs> I'm turning the volume down a little bit more. There we go. All right. Okay, three, two, one. Let's jam. All right, give me <laughs> all my shit. Now you're ready for combat. <laughs> now you're ready Mortal for combat. combat. Mortal combat. <laughs> Marsec radio. I mean, I was I was doing the theme from Cowboy Bebop, but okay. Cowboy Boobap. Looks like you've been assigned the <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy. I would play Cowboy Cowboy Bebop. Would you like Cowbop Bebop? <laughs> Sponge Boy Bebop. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some Chinese restaurant that actually named a dish that for some odd reason. What Sponge Boy Bebop? No, Cowboy Bebop. Or Cowbop B-Boy? Yeah, or something like that. Cow B-Boy Bop? Like, uh, kind of like Robot Chicken. Kind of like Robot Chicken. Mm. Oh, shit. Turkeys! This is an awful lot of just walking downstairs. Uh, yeah, walking on downstairs alone or in pairs, mostly alone. Massive flock of turkeys outside the building right now. That's interesting. It it happens. Why why we attract them is beyond me. Because like 
up like there are woods around here. Where the hell are they coming from? They are some big, scary-ass birds. They are very threatening. Oh, you're talking about where you are? I thought you meant in the game. I was like, where do you, where is he seeing turkeys? In real life. Yeah, I know. Like, in, re- real in, life, in real life. Real life turkeys. <laughs> oh, so you mean the movie Ishtar. Oh! Uh, or the movie Thanks Killing. <laughs> Nice tits, bitch. What was this? Locker 23? Uh, 531. That's it, okay. Bing bong! I got shotgun shells out of it. Bing bong! Uh Oh, hot dog! Hot dog! We got a wiener! That is little cutie. Fuck Too bad Billy ain't around. I'd ask him. Uh, I'd ask him what he, uh, what I, what I should do at the uh, meet and greet I'm gonna go to uh, for a VTuber at uh, Anime Boston. Well, I guess it depends on who the uh, the uh, person is. Uh, Narissa Ravencroft. I don't know what six of those words mean. So. Oh, uh, if if. If I had to wager a guess, and this is just, you know, from conversations with friends, in real life, she's probably closer to our age because of the references she makes and stuff. So uh-huh. it's like, you know, oh, she's relatable. <laughs> she's, not, she's not as cringe as, as the youngers, especially like Koseki Bijo, who's the most cringe of all cringe. She, she, she just, God, she, the, she's you know, the, just clip God, I, no? the, 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 the clip that I play that I like violence, that that's Bijou. Okay. She's, she's, she's a little troll. She is freaking, she, she came up with this stupid freaking thing based off of a meme song inserting all of their names into it and sticking out your yat for Nerizler. I'm like, this is the most strange. Sticking out your what for the what now? So apparently the actual lyrics are sticking out your yat for the Rizzler. And it's like a reference to a bunch of like Gen Z type slang. Oh, yeah. I've heard you're so something isn't that like charisma riz yeah 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 rizzler is like somebody who's who's got like you know a lot of charisma uh and then like something tax had to do with some guy like a streamer who steals food from somebody else while he's like doing shit i guess oh my god you killed Kenny. Uh, but yeah, like she, she basically came up with a, a cringe version of that with a bunch of other people's names in it. And like, she, she aims to be the most cringe thing possible because she's probably one of the younger people in that company. Probably the only reason why I know newer memes is because of that. So basically just like edgelord kind of comedy. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like try, trying to annoy everybody else with like the most annoying of the newer memes and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. She has her moments, but she's a gremlin. Nerissa, on the other hand, she is a class act. It's a beautiful voice. Uh, and uh, you know she is she is an elder. You know she actually she she gets she gets the older things, the finer things in life. You know if you were to mention something on VHS, she wouldn't be going, "What the hell's a VHS?" You know like, like these these kids these days in streams. Yeah. What's a VHS? Like. At that point, I just cough up dust and freaking die. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go back into my coffin because I'm an old man. I mean, to be fair, I almost bought a freaking Betamax tape of Macross. So, what does that tell you? Um, that I mean, you, I, you really, that like, you really like Macross. I'm, I'm just a certain kind of crazy when it comes to old media. <laughs> hey, listen. player. I have a Sega Nomad, and I'm now building up my Sega Genesis collection, so I don't have room to talk. But but then again, a friend of mine who's a teacher who teaches middle school age kids was like, you know, my students would be like, oh, that's so lame. Why don't you get like a Sigma Max player instead? And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, ew. Ew, oh. God, that's horrible. You went. Uh, you why, went are, why are kids these days so cringe? You went Bob Belcher, though. Oh, God, why are kids so cringe? I don't know. I don't know, Bob. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, you know, if, what, what my voice skills would do in a reaction to, uh, to the meet and greet. Be like, you know, yeah. So uh, I, I happen to be a streamer too. Uh, I, I'm known for having a million different voices. Uh, although what they are, I can't exactly tell you because even I don't know. All million of my voices, they just kind of come out of my mouth. <laughs> I, I'm a red VTuber girl. Fuck me right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. uh, if you say so. Linda. You, you, you are, you are pixels on a screen. But okay. <laughs> uh, I was, I was going more for the lunch lady Doris when she sees groundskeeper Willie's Willie. Okie dokie. Please be up, woman. <laughs> Okie <Okay>, dokie. <laughs> well, the funniest part about that is the fact that you can clearly see she's looking down at his reader for like a split second before she goes, Okie dokie. Nothing out runs across the There's a lot of, of meat in that, Jim. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of meat in these gym bags. <laughs> there's a lot of meat in that Extra bag. Fiber. Your ball the bag. Extra flavor. Well, there, there, there was that one episode where she was taking like the freaking gym mats and grinding them down for like lunch meat. Wasn't was was it a uh, rat milk mouse milk rat mouse? Uh, that that was that was the rat milk one with uh, the mafia. Shotgun. Rat milk. You promised me dog or better. I got a shotgun, the worst shotgun in the uh, Doom, entire Doom series. <laughs> that that is a kind of shitty shotgun. It is. It really is a shitty shotgun, and it's also a shotty. It's, shit. it's more of a shit gun. It's a shoddy shit gun. Yeah. It's getting ready to say. It's health I don't need. Okay. Our ammo. Yeah, shit gun. <laughs> They're breaking through the walls. They're coming out of the goddamn walls. Oh my god! Oh it's my new god. god! Kill him! Oh my god, it's Mitch O'Connell! <laughs> oh my god, Mitch that's, McConnell, shoot him! That's not, shoot a, him. That's not a turtle. Oh You're my right. god, it, it's Ron DeSantis! Kill him! Didn't, didn't oh he just God. sign some, like, anti-social media thing recently, too? Like, kids under the age of... Uh. I mean, to, to be fair, social media does rot people's brains. This is one of those things where it's like, like yeah. Comment and subscribe! This is one of those things where I go, yeah, I get it, but, of course, people are going to do it as, oh, this is a win for the culture wars. <laughs> Fuck you, liberals. Like, no. No. You're, 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 the, you're the first people to complain about nanny state, and then you go ahead and start banning shit left and right. You start Steve banning shit. I mean, to be fair, January 6th. 
All I heard was, to be fair, January 6th. Yep, that was that was it. Oh, all right. <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't get cut off or something. No, no. Like oh, I'm pretty sure that's what that guy sounds like is just a bunch well, of you, you know, know garbled, garbled, drug-addled gibberish. Well, you know, Mike. To be fair, AIDS. Ah, that's true. A good, what a good point. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Dane, I'm sipping liquid death. Dane, I'm sipping AIDS. Sweet, dude. <laughs> it's, it's cherry flavored. <laughs> <laughs> cherry flavored AIDS. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> oh, I so desperately oh, want to put gosh. that. I so desperately want to make that the title of this video, but I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> If YouTube Probably. would uh, immediately be like, nope. <laughs> what, what is this? Cherry flavored AIDS? You don't know what you're talking about? I don't know why I turned into Dane Cook. <laughs> um, does anybody hear like AIDS bananas? <laughs> Surpri <laughs> Surprise! It's cherry flavored. <laughs> anybody like cherry flavored AIDS mm, bananas? <laughs> anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I, I will say the YouTube algorithm is rather kind of random, uh, son considering of that it suggested to me. I was watching this one dude who was uh, bartending, like doing mixed drinks, and he was doing uh, uh, like reviews of uh, alcohols. Uh, uh, I think he was uh, doing like single malt Fridays or something with like malt whiskeys and stuff like that. So uh, this this kindly old gentleman who had his own home bar, you know, and just like he seemed like well, the most wholesome old man. And in case you're wondering, everybody, I, I, I hit a kill plane that wasn't killing me, so I had just reloaded a save. <laughs> I do have. So, a, I, I am working with a trainer, just so everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I never make you any cheat. bones about that. You cheat and cheat. So, Look, I play my so, game so, the way uh, I want to play it, and you play your game the way you want to play it. That's how it goes. This this kindly uh, old you know, man. You know, I'm just kidding. Right? Like, I don't actually think you're a cheating bastard. Yeah. <laughs> you you just think I'm a regular bastard. Oh my God! Somebody yeah. please yeah. the children. Oh no! He's cheating! Oh my god! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Seriously, like, children shouldn't be watching a, a 17 and up game like this. You know. Children you know, just shouldn't be watching this show, period. That's you see, right. Y'all see, y'all saw the rating at the beginning of this episode, right? It said TVMA. Probably LV yeah. for violence. There's a lot of really bad fucking language in this goddamn ass shit video game. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Dane. That's right. Ass, 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 ass. Yes. We say a lot of shit and things in this fuck. I love it's fuck. My job. And also the game. Yes. That's what earns us the uh, the L in the TVMALV, because we say things like "suck my milky white fucking tits," Dane. <laughs> and we also say, "eat my clum baby schmegma <laughs> diarrhea." <coughs> mm. I'm dying inside. Uh, apparently, apparently, Jace was going low though, but his uh, his sound cut out. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, starting to make me laugh like a freaking uh, war criminal there for a second. <laughs> oh, 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 you you must really find that hilarious, Ahmed. <laughs> war criminal, not terrorist. Uh, yeah, there, there's a difference. Part, the war, war criminal, like like Vladimir, <laughs> uh, oh, or God. Netanyahu. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, although I do want some of that war criminal uh, cola. The, the Picola Cola. I guess I could have saved him. Picola Cola. 
Oh, shit. Uh, it's interesting. They, they sell it as a syrup that you have to add to carbonated water. Ooh, I about walked right into that. Shotgun, bitch. Boom. Boom. Shotgun. And a boom. And a boom. Just gonna save right here just to be assured. I might do some freak more a little more frequent saving. I got auto save turned on, but like it's a, it never hurts to just save. Just just save sometimes. Uh, but it can hurt to shave, you know. Yeah, it, well, you go against if the you, grain the uh, wrong yeah, way. I was gonna say if you shave like a fucking moron, yeah, sure. <laughs> I got an you idea. Know, you know How what? about I run the edge of the blade along my carotid artery? That's gonna also, work. Also, right? <laughs> sometimes it hurts to rave. Like if you, if you hop up and down too hard, you you pull a muscle. It hurts me to rave for sure because I'm almost forty and my legs can't do that shit no more. No. <laughs> My body's it's like, true. the fuck are you doing? You're not 25. Stop it. Get some help. You You have <laughs> You don't have the ball sack of the 25. Stop it. Get some help. Chicken Mac Nugget. <laughs> McDonald, Chicken Mac Nugget. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So I just saw a uh, a Twitter post. I thought you were gonna say you saw a Somebody, chicken McNugget. Uh, <laughs> I saw a chicken McNugget. Like, it was a it was in there with the turkeys. <laughs> what's that chicken McNugget doing with them turkeys? Uh, There's a picture of uh, the show Xavier Renegade Angel. Uh huh. It says you couldn't make art like this today. People would accuse you of using AI. And the response is. One time, my coworker invited me over and made me watch like five episodes of this, and I was genuinely convinced he was going to kill me. I am Xavier, warrior, renegade angel, and uh, I. So uh, welcome, you. welcome. I am Xavier. Welcome. I am an angel. It's uh, I am philosophical, yet I ramble about things that make no That's sense. That's my name, Phil. Because in the Phil end, esophical. it is about the. In the end, it is about the end, which is not the beginning, because it is the end. Listen. Like an anus. If I have it is anus, also not like the, it is starts not with A, like which is the beginning. If I have so learned the anything, anus must be the beginning of the end. Listen, if I have learned anything, in the end, it doesn't even matter. I fucking, I fucking knew you were I fucking, I fucking... I fucking fuck fuck. I robot. I I won the I fuck robots. Yes. Okay. Sure. I too the sandbox. I be the sand. Let me guess. You're gonna say, make me say, I ate the sandbox, and then you're gonna be like, you must have been hungry. Oh. Well, if you're gonna be a fucking dick about it. I I I I piss ten the pain. sandbox. You tend the sandbox? Yes. There there was cat poo in it, so I took it out. <laughs> I nine the I eighty I eighty six the sandbox. <laughs> I sixty nine the sandbox. Uh, uh huh. You sick <laughs> <laughs> ten sounds freak? like ten. You are a sick fuck, aren't you? Yes I is. Yeah. You blew the sandbox, and you made the sandbox eat you at the same time. You sick weirdo. This, this, this I, joke. I read the sandbox. I four twenty the sandbox. <laughs> um, I. Uh, you smoked um, an entire sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my dude. <laughs> I I wumboed the sandbox. God damn it. I think we all, in a way, we all wombo the same. Uh, it, yeah, I was gonna say, that's a that's just life, you know. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you gotta wombo at the sandbox. Sometimes, 
And sometimes you got to eat a bonbon out of um, a titty. It's true. Titty bonbon. I think I'm gonna make like three saves and just save over them intermittently, just to so I can, if I have to go back further than a save, then I have another save that I can go back to. It made sense, more sense in my head than it did coming out of my mouth. But you I was gonna say, did you have a stroke while you were? Yeah, I. I the way I had it in my brain, I was like, this makes sense. And then it came out of my mouth, and it was like, what? Strong Eagle Bond, call a Havulence. Yes, this makes sense. Say it, says the brain. And then my tongue was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what happens when you wumbo the sandbox. It's unfortunate. And uh, to make a long story short, this was the stone that I passed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. There we go. Unlock the chest. Indeed. Oh, these brownies. These brownies smell fantastic. Knockback is fucking me. Come on. This knockback is atrocious. This knockback is a shitting on me. <laughs> I am not shitting on you. This knockback has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. This knockback has a second name. It's O-S-C-C-I-D-O-P-P-P-O-P-I-O-N-O-I-O-E. Okay, then. <laughs> One more save. I think I might have had this tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to do it for this edition of uh, Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgio and Jason A.M. Hurst, I'm Mike Riley. Say and see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.